Uh, King Mo executes game plan perfectly. All three of my predictions are on. I couldn't believe it, but I, I've been a long time since I enjoyed watching all three of my predictions be wrong because uh, I can't say that I dislike any of the three guys that won. I mean, I, I liked all six guys in these three fights. I'm a fan of all six of them, so it was, it was all right. But, uh, you know, the butt down, the butt drop tactics of Baoki did not work. Because everybody who's watched, who has watched all of his fights knows, and anybody who hasn't should go just get on the internet, and they're all right there. Watch him, because uh, normally his tactics work. I mean, worked well. He's damn good at it, but he was extreme, extremely overpowered. Just extremely overpowered. Uh, Belinda is a, a fucking beast, and uh, damn, you know the lightweight rankings in the entire world have been jumbled around in the last week. Unbelievably, nobody would have thought it. So. Some people did think it. I'll take that back. <laughs> and about the post-fight fight, uh, I, that was in no way, shape, or form Jason Miller's fault. He, uh, you know, is, one, is a friendly, smart-ass type of guy. I'm the same way. All my friends know if I'm a smart-ass to you, that means I like you. If I don't say a whole lot to you or talk much around you, then I probably don't like you that well. And Jason Miller's the same type of guy. Um, he's, you know, he's, he's a guy that's, that's how he communicates with people. He's kind of a smart ass. Well, some people don't like that. Well, I think Shields was going to be friendly at first. Miller had a smile on his face the whole time. He crossed the line a little bit, maybe when his shoulder checked him a little bit there. Shoulder bumped him because that uh, pissed Shields off. And he shouldn't, he shouldn't have initiated physical contact. Shield shoved him, and that's and that is what sparked the entire thing. But the guys that grabbed Shields grabbed him and held him. Caesar Camp could have did the same fucking thing with Jason Miller. They could have grabbed him and held him. Instead, they delivered a prison-style beatdown on CBS when. People who were trying to get to watch the sport or waiting to watch the fucking news. A lot of people like my mom or somebody, you know, who really doesn't even probably condone the sport, uh, is waiting to watch the news. And they're like, oh, this stuff's on tonight, you know, whatever, the 48 hours, whatever was already off. So maybe people watched the fights instead of that. Maybe they didn't. But if they were sitting there waiting to watch the news, and they watched the end of the fight. They were waiting. Oh, well, here, the fight's over. We'll just wait. And they saw that. They will never have a good thing to say about MMA again. They'll go, oh, that's that shit we saw on TV. Ah, ah, we, ah blah, blah, blah. So, in any fucking ways, they'll probably go to CBS. I would be amazed to see it on there on May 15th, like I said. Um... I still, at the same time, really can't, really don't uh, fault the whole Caesar camp for doing what they did because a couple of those guys did what they did uh, after it was already a fight, but still, it went way too far, <coughs> it went way too far, and, uh, you know, I don't know. That one guy seemed like he just held on up with the double underhook. I, I couldn't even tell who the hell it was from from above. It wasn't Nate because Nate had him by the legs and then started kicking at him uh, after John grabbed Nick off of him. But, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It's, uh, it, it was really bad. It was bad for, for the sport. It was the exact opposite of what, what they were trying to do. And... Uh, it completely backfired. Um, it was, I think, it was one of those things where I don't think Coker or, or Shields or any of them realized what the magnitude of it that night didn't hit him yet. It didn't hit him yet. They didn't realize it. 
So they did the exact opposite of what they set out to do. They made some money, but but uh, the heart and soul of it got you know 